Danger. Brought to you by Kelvinator. A division of American Motors Corporation. Builder of Nash Automobiles. Hudson Motor Cars. And Kelvinator Appliances for the home. And now, tonight's tale of danger. in just a moment. I said, I'm not kidding you, ma'am. I never, never in all my born days. Hurry up. I don't know what the world's coming to. Poking guns in people's backs, ordering folks around. You've got more nerve than a brass monkey. out there after me. They got this whole neighborhood surrounded you. Do you hear that? I'm going to sit right here with you until they let up. Now, you let out one squawk. Just one little squawk. And you won't let out another squawk as long as you live. You hear that? All right. You got a telephone in here? Huh? All right. And you just remember what I told you. your hand if I'd a mind to. Even if I am old, I still got my teeth. Next time you do it, I will. This 
Keep your dirty hands off my face. What'd you do? Murder somebody? That's none of your nosy business. Busting into respectable people's homes. Might be respectable. Looks more like a broken down pawn shop. It's better than yours. Mm -hmm. Only house you ever had probably had an iron bar for a door, you murderer. Now you cut out making cracks like that, you hear? What you got in there? Food? Huh? No. Rat poison. I don't hear nothing now. <clears throat> Hope you got no object objections. You sit there laughing, eating my food. You need to make yourself so comfortable. They haven't gone yet. They're still up on the roof. How do you know that? Super sensitive hearing, they say. I'm part Indian. I think you're part crazy. That's the absolute truth. My father was a full-blooded Cherokee Indian. I can hear the whisper of the wind. Cut it out. Cut it out. Oh, stop arguing with me. There's a telephone on the roof. Hope they come in here and knock on my door. Well, I have something to tell them. I'll tell them. Here, here, let me do that. Love the book, you fool neck. <laughs> Now, you're not going to tell him anything. Hmm. <laughs> I'll tell you what. You tell me your name, and I'll tell you mine. Okay. My name's Sarah. What's yours? Jack. Jack <laughs> the Ripper. Oh, smart. You won't be so smart when they get you in the clink. <laughs> I don't believe you ever shot anybody anyhow. What makes you so sure? Eh? You got watery blue eyes. Nobody with watery blue eyes ever shot anybody. <clears throat> well, you just uh, do something funny and we'll see. Hmm? I'll make you a bargain. No. You tell me what you didn't. I won't let the police get in here. You're not going to let them get in here. You're not going to tell them anything or anything else. Don't remember that. I'm going up right now on the roof and ask them. Come back to you. I guess I got a right to know who you, you are. If you're going to sit there, I guess I got a right to know what kind of man I'm entertaining. You just go. Come Look, you Take your down. hands off of me. You tell you something, finger. you do it. Listen, if you... Oh. Sit down. I'll tell you again, now you hear me? Stuck me, you brute. I knew you were no good. You got me and I. Stuck through saying they're watery blue. They are. They're watery blue and mean. That's what they are. Well, let's just forget it. My husband was alive. He'd beat your brains out. Ah, uh, shh. Uh, you know, I don't believe you ever had a husband. It just shows how stupid you were. Uh, you know what I bet? I bet you're one of those uh, old maids that's got a wad of dough stuck away somewhere that's in your mouth. a lie. My face may not be much to look at, but I had a good figure. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I was engaged to be married once, but my fiancé was drowned in a motoring accident. Don't you go anywhere near my mattress, you understand? Why not? Because no real gentleman goes into a lady's room without being asked. Now get out of here. Go on. How'd you know I didn't have a husband? <laughs> well, you, you can tell. Oh, that's twaddle. You can't tell things like that. Listen, uh, where do you keep it, the old lady, huh? What do no, you keep it? Call me that again. I'm not an old lady. The old lady? 
hear you talk, anybody think I was in a winding sheet with a lily in my hand. What do you keep? It? I haven't got anything anymore. But I used to have pretty things, lovely things. They were all stolen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who took them? People in this house. That's who. <laughs> to look at you think sugar wouldn't melt in their mouths. <laughs> and they're no good. If I had a wooden leg, they'd have it and gone. <laughs> then where'd I be? Well, you guys, you got enough locks on the doors to keep out an army. Locks, those things. They're not good against experienced criminals like yourself. <laughs> There's a woman next door. She had a gentleman friend. They used to call him Greasy Fingers. <laughs> well, of course his fingers weren't greasy. That's just what they call him, and I'm going to tell you why. He would walk into a respectable establishment. And when I say walk, I don't mean walk. He would sneak in there. That's what I mean. He'd probably sneak into his own home if he had one. He'd sneak into that place. He'd go up the safe. He'd run his fingers ever so slightly around it. And first thing you know, he had the loop and was gone. <coughs> what are you telling me all this for? Because what chance did I have? What chance did I have against professional criminals like that? I hadn't a chance. They just came in here and cleaned me out. When I moved here ten years ago, I had a lovely coat with a knocked your eye out. Such a beautiful thing, black. Satin line you could see your face in. <laughs> Last week, they sneaked in here while I was out and they stole that coat. Is that right? Yeah. And just look at the thing they left in this place. What color is it? Black. No, you're wrong. It's navy blue, and look at that terrible lining. I wouldn't wear this coat to a dog fight on a dark night. <laughs> hey, uh, what do you got in there? Not to go in there, you understand? You stay away from there. Why, what do you got in there? Most of the lovely things I managed to save, my beautiful um, possessions, lovely things. And you're not to go in here. Ah, oh, yeah. That's where you got it. Huh? Got what? All that loot I was talking about a while ago. <laughs> Don't be silly. You gonna tell me what you did? What are you talking about? You gonna tell me why the police are after you? No, no, no. That's the meanest thing I ever did see. I practically bared my soul to you. Well, you just mind your own business now, huh? You're not gonna go with that. Get out of here. I hear something. I didn't hear anything. Naturally, I got super sensitive hearing like an Indian. You and that hearing gag. I told you. I told you. My father was a poor bloody Cherokee Indian. <laughs> oh, you're a desperate man. You gonna shoot him? I'm going to hide in that room now. You get that door open. I'll do no such thing. Those are my beautiful... Are you possession. going to open that door or not? No, nobody's allowed in there. And you, you won't shoot me because the police are here. Just keep quiet. I'll get rid of it. Yeah? It's the police. Just a minute. Checking all the apartments in this building. You haven't seen a stranger in the halls tonight, have you? No. Nobody on this floor. The woman downstairs just underneath me. She entertains all the time. Got people in there all hours of the day and night laughing, carrying on. <laughs> but you haven't seen anyone up here? Mercy. No. Everybody on this floor is respectable except Mr. Murkison. 
He drinks a lot. He wouldn't hurt a fly, poor thing. Asked me to marry him once. Can you imagine that? Of course you can't imagine that because you haven't seen him. You know, it's hard to kiss I'd advise you to keep your door locked, ma'am. And if you hear anyone, just holler. We'll be around till we find him. That's lovely. This man you're after. What'd he do? Held up a liquor store. Shot the proprietor. Shot him? Did he kill him? No, but he's hurt pretty bad. If you see anyone... You wouldn't care to have some refreshments, would you? Why, uh... I just put out a pot of tea. Tea? No, thanks, lady. Stop poking people with that stun. Gabbing so much. I knew he didn't want me to. I figured if I'd ask him in, then he'd be sure there was nobody here but me. See? I see, I see. So that's what you done. You held up that liquor store and shot a man. I didn't think you'd do a thing like that. Stop gabbing. I had to. A guy comes in the. I had to shoot. You had to? There's nothing else I could do. Will you please believe that? Yeah? It's the police again. Yeah, what do you want? Sorry to bother you again, ma'am, but uh, do you have a telephone in there? As a matter of fact, I don't. You see, I got super sensitive hearing. My father was a full-blooded Cherokee Indian. I can't bear the buzzing and the wires. You understand? Yeah. Yeah, lady. <laughs> that fixed him. He won't be back for a while. <laughs> Come here. Where are you going? Oh, let's go in the room. Here. No, you're not coming in here. This is my bedroom. Shh. Quiet. Listen, you get in there by yourself then, and you keep your lousy trap shut. I don't want to talk to you again. Understand that? Now. Gratitude for you. I, listen, I'm telling you once more, you keep your trap shut. I don't see why you're so nervous. I'm warning you. So why are you so nervous? You ought to take a pill. Just uh, wondering. Wondering what? How long you can keep your trap shut? I'm gonna fix this some tea. Ain't you tired? First, you know why. You know, there are, I don't know how many flats in this building. I had to pick you. Well. Good thing you did. If it busted into anybody else's place, they'd have turned you over to the police long ago. Why'd you do it? Do what? Hold up that liquor store. That was a silly thing to do. Well, why does anybody hold up any place? They need money. Huh? Well, to shoot a man. Now you're in serious trouble. If that man dies, they might electrocute you. you shut up. Did you ever think of getting a job when you needed money? No. Yeah. Don't you no. want some tea? No. Well, you must have come from a broken family. No, look, I, I didn't come from a broken family. You know, I, we lived on a great big estate out on the island. And uh, I had a whole string of polo ponies when I was two. Is there anything else you want to know? Did you ever see an electric chair? around here. Now you shut up.
car. I told you, didn't I? I gotta get out of here. No, you can stay here as long as you like. As soon as morning comes, I'm going out and buy some groceries for us. Where you got the money for groceries? Well, I got some money. Where you got it? Well, right here. Where'd you think? Oh, give me back my money. Huh? Oh, six bucks. Is that all you got? Yes, that's all I, I got. I gotta have more than that. I gotta get out of town. I don't see why you can't stay here. You really must be crazy. I'm not going to sit around here and be cooped up with a silly old loony old woman. I thought we were going to be friends. Well, we're not. I told you all my secrets. So what? I thought you were going to help me with those thieves, the ones I told you about. I've never had anybody to really help me. Well, you picked the wrong Joe, that's all. I've got better things to do. Well, then go on. Get out of here. What's bothering you? I trusted you. I told you all my secrets. Now get out of here before I call the police. Look, what are you doing to me now? Well, you think Stop I'm going to leave here without getting in your dirty little room well, well, of yours? What are you... Huh? Everybody else stealing from you. I don't see why you'd mind if I get my share, would you? Huh? Don't do it, you. Ah. Now you just stay right where you are. You won't have to bother me. For me for a long time after this. Just remember. All right. You just sit tight. booby trap. Hey, where you got it, old lady? Huh? Hey! Where is he? In my apartment. Possessions. Now, I, I want you to look at this. Nothing but junk here. See? What it's junk? A bunch of junk. Gotta...
Next week's tale of danger, Experiment with Death, the story of a man who submits to a dangerous scientific experiment because he is disillusioned with life. The cast includes Lorne Green, George Voskovec, and Addison Richards. Danger.